The Bible is an idol. Now, today we're going to speak about the voices, the voice of Jesus Christ. And you know, I've taught you that the Bible has stopped the voice of Jesus Christ. They got it as the Word of God, so they don't hear the voice of Jesus Christ anymore. They teach them, don't listen to those voices. But if you can't hear the voice of Jesus, you're going to be lost. You've got to hear the voice. Now, I want to tell you another thing that stopped the voice of Jesus in this day and time. And it's these psychiatrists and, and people that, uh, when the devil speaks to somebody, tells them to go and kill a bunch of people, and like these kids killing folks in the schools and killing their parents. One senator, the other day, his son stabbed him with a knife, and he finally shot himself. But those senators, you see, they're all of the devil. They swear in on the Bible. And listen to me real close when I teach you about voices. I'll teach you spiritual things. Senators and politicians and all, they're all of the devil. Because you need to understand how Satan runs his kingdom. He takes his people and puts them in high positions. He keeps people that love God. He keeps them down on a low level. Because he runs these systems. He runs the system of money. Now if you'll listen to me, Jesus will take your portion away from Satan and give it to you so you'll be free if you don't spend money. But if you're lustful, he can never set you free. So these high people in high places, they are, we're, they're in different classes of people. You've got servants in the world and middle class, and then you've got the noble people that run things. they got all the money. Satan blesses them. He anoints them. You've got to understand these things. They hear voices. Like there's a devil following Paul and Silas around. They said, these are the men of the Most High God. Well, you see, this spirit, uh, she could use uh, discernment and, and bring much gain to her masters. It's like the people on Wall Street. They got the devil helping them. They make all the money and leave us poor people down here out of nothing. So you've got to hear the voice of Jesus Christ. Now, they don't like for you to hear the voice today. If you tell people you hear voices, they think you're crazy because all these people that's hearing voices, you see, they're killing people. But remember, don't let that stop you. Because Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. When, when a voice comes to you, listen to me real close on this. When a voice comes to you, like Jesus would tell me, I want you to be only a Christian. Why did he tell me that? He didn't want me to belong to church. The assemblies of God was after me. I was a young boy and I could pick a guitar and I could sing and, and I could preach a house down because the Holy Ghost was in me. They wanted me in the assemblies of God. Why did they want me under there? They wanted me under the Bible so I'd be under the control of Satan forever. But I didn't listen to their voice. I listened to the voice of Jesus. Jesus told me I want you to be only a Christian. He told me the Bible's an idol. So I'm controlled by the voice of God. You can tell the difference between the voice of God and the devil. Every time the devil comes to you, he wants you in something natural or fleshly. He'll always be 100% fleshly. I don't care if it's a beautiful young woman that goes into a convent of the Catholic people and she spends her life in there teaching children about Jesus, the Catholic doctor and all. And you notice all these Catholic people, most of them make president or they're big rich people in the world because that's the mother of harlots. You see, she thinks she done a good job, but check Mother Teresa out. She told him in the ends of her days the Catholic Church was of the devil, that she'd serve the devil all of her life because they shut her up like they did old Benedict. Now that Pope that came down, he's shut up over there in a Catholic prison now until he dies. They have ways of handling people. And don't let the devil keep you down like that. You resist the devil, you fight the devil, and you hear his voice. You don't let nothing take that away. I don't care if these people are hearing voices, but Jesus' voice is being heard again in the land, and the devil is letting other people hear voices, and they're killing people. So now he says, don't hear no voices. Don't let that stop you. Because God will fight for us, and he'll keep us. I fought many devils. I fought the big ones, them that left their first estate. They tell me, I rule this place. I said, you don't rule me. And when that's going to get me, my brethren were strapping on their swords. That's right. And they'll come and get them. If you'll stand, Jesus will stand with you. Paul was out putting uh, people in prison. And one day he met a man named Jesus on the road. And he said, why are you persecuting me? He ran into the one that he was... Uh, persecuting and he fell off his beast blind and he quit persecuting God's people and old Herod he thought he was something he cut off John the Baptist's head and he killed James with the sword he put Peter in jail locked him up between some soldiers and the angel come and got Peter out of the jail and Herod killed those soldiers that had been watching Peter and he was angry angry 
And he thought he was something. One day he was dressed in his holy array out there and was boasting. And they said it's the voice of a God and an angel had been following him around. And when he spoke that, the angel smote him and the worms eat him. Listen, these people that has the voice of the devil, like this one big preacher, he had the biggest church in the world. 500,000 people come to it. Over in South Korea, I think it was. And he was in there and the devil appeared to him. And he grabbed his Bible and held it up to his chest. And the devil said, are you going to obey that? And he said, yes. And the devil left him and never bothered him again. Why? Because the devil had him. Then he was under the control of the Bible. And then you see he'll die as a, as a Bible-worshiping devil. The devil has tricks to keep you under his voice like that. Resist him. Fight, fight, fight. Even when Daniel was praying back in the Old Covenant, the angel Gabriel wanted to come to Daniel. But the prince of Persia withstood him. See that? That was one of them angels that come down with Satan that was ruling all that country. And he wouldn't let Gabriel in. And it took Gabriel 21 days. You know who come and helped him? Michael come. And when Michael come, that angel over Persia, he said, you can go in, Gabriel. Because Michael cast them out of heaven. They, we got power on our side. See, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. We wrestle against powers and principalities and spiritual wickedness in a high places. Why do we put on the whole armor of God? Huh? Just to stand around? We fight. Paul told Timothy, fight a good fight. War, good warfare. We wear this armor because we fight against these spirits. Don't let them tell you that these voices... These voices lead you into a flesh life. They put you under a Bible or something. And they'll keep you forever. The devil has a trick. He, he, this is one of his major tricks in the Catholic Church. There's one devil. He'll come around. You remember the movie Exorcist? That was a real thing. Only it was a boy, not a girl. And this devil got in this boy. And all them Catholic priests gathered around him. And, you know, and they cast out that devil. Well, then now all the people think, Hey, the Catholic Church has got power over the devil. I'm joining the church and I'll be safe from the devil. That's a trick. See, that devil works with them priests. Now, he'll leave that boy there and go and get in somebody in the Amityville Horror or the Haunting in Connecticut. That same spirit, and them priests will go up there and they'll cast that devil out again. That's a trick, good cop, bad cop. That's the way the devil gets you in the Catholic Church. Don't let him fool you. Anytime a spirit leads you to the flesh, like a book, a building, a preacher with a $2,000 suit on, that's the devil. That's the devil. You resist that. You don't be led into the flesh. You've got to fight today. And the angels will fight for you. I've had them fight for me. They do pretty good, these devils, if they can scare you. But if they come into you and tell you, say, I control this place, I'm the ruler. Tell them, say, Lord Jesus, please put this devil in hell. You, you're going to put him in hell anyway. Put this one in early, Lord. Let his time run out. And then he'll get nervous. And you'll be resisting the devil. Learn how to resist the devil. Say, Lord, put him in the bottomless pit. That's what I do. And they come around me, Lord, put him in the bottomless pit. And a lot of people will creep in like demons. But it won't be long till they be revealed. You give them things like, you know, and you give to your enemy. It's like heaping coals of fire upon their head. Pretty soon they'll be revealed and the devil will be defeated. We've got to fight, children. We're in the daytime when it's almost over. When, when the, uh, John came forth, he bore witness of a coming Christ. He was a witness of the coming Christ. When the apostles came forth, they was witnesses of a resurrected Christ. They said he's raised from the dead. We've seen him with the holes in him. He lives. And so they uh, bore witness. And now we're witnesses of a living, resurrected Jesus Christ. And the Bible has come and taken over. We witness against that book controlling us. And now we got to fight against these voices. They say, don't listen to these voices. These voices. If you don't listen to the voice of Jesus, where would I be today if I hadn't heard the voice of Jesus? You wouldn't know the Bible's an idol. You wouldn't know it's the mark of the beast. You wouldn't know the foundation teachings. You wouldn't know Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John was Old Testament. You wouldn't know Timothy was a Jew that had been under scriptures. All scriptures given by inspiration of God. But Paul told Timothy, stir up the gift that's in you, Timothy. Neglect not the gift that's in you, Timothy. And he said, kept by the Holy Ghost that dwells in us. Now he's under the new covenant. We live by the word of God, by the spirit of God. Don't let them take away the voice of Jesus Christ and scare you out of the kingdom. You stand up. Stand up and let God live in you. Let the voice of God lead you. My sheep know my voice. And today his voice is being heard again in the land. 
And, and he will lead you into all the spirit of truth and righteousness because God is going to have a kingdom and he's going to have people that stand up. And I'm teaching you spiritual things. So don't let them devils take away the voice of God. Father, we thank you for this voice today. And I pray people will hear this word and hear the voice of Jesus Christ.